Okay, so let's go through this coordinate descent calculation for add a boost. Um, we're going to do coordinate descent on the exponential loss. And there are two, st two steps to coordinate descent. The first is to find the direction that you're going to go in. And then the second is to do a line search in that direction. And we repeat these two steps over and over again um, in the process of coordinate descent. Okay, so let's actually go through the calculation for these two steps here. All right, so step one. is that the coordinates are j's and we're going to find the steepest coordinate okay so let's say that we're let's say that we're already like in the middle of add a boost we've run it for a few iterations and um say we are at lambda t okay so that's uh, the location that we're in right now and we want the steepest direction to go in Okay, so I can write that the formula for the steepest direction down. Um, I'm going to write it like this. So it's it's JT in. Okay, arc max. So that means find find the maximum over all J of the following quantity. Okay, so it's negative, and then it's dr train because that's the objective we're optimizing is r train. And then this is lambda t plus alpha ej. This is d alpha at alpha equals zero. Okay, and then this ej notation, what that means is it's zero except for a one in the j location. Okay, so it's a vector of zeros with one exception. Okay. So what is this? This is a directional derivative, or it's also called a Fréché derivative, and it's telling you that you should um, look, you should take an infinitesimal step in each direction j, and then find out if you when you take that step, what happens to our train. Okay, if our train uh, decreases the most, then that's the direction, that's the step you want to take. Okay, so it's the j that maximizes the negative derivative. Why the negative derivative? Because we want to go down the function, not up the function. Okay, cool. So it's the argmax of the negative, and then it's this directional, this directional derivative, these infinitesimal steps in each direction. Cool. So if you're, if you're cool with that, then let's do a little bit of work on the inside here and just derive what that actually is. Okay, so I'm just going to grab that and um, just work on that for a while. Okay, so I have negative dd alpha, one over n. This is the our train that we derived in the last video. So e to the negative, and then it's supposed to be m times lambda i. But here, um, my lambda is now lambda t plus alpha e j. Okay. And then I got to take the ith component of that. So again, m is an n by p matrix. Lambda is p by one. So when you multiply them together, you get a one. You get a one by. Um, sorry, you get an n by one. And then if you take the ith component, that's just a number, single number. So this is e to the negative number. Okay, single number. All right, so then this is dd alpha, 1 over n, sum over i. And I'm just going to write this matrix notation out a little bit. So it's e to the negative, and then this is m times lambda t i. OK, so it's the ith component of that, minus, and this is alpha. And now, OK, what is this? This is m times ej, take the ith component. Okay, so m multiplied by ej, that's just looking at the jth column of m, and then it says take the ith component, so it's just mij. So that's all that is. Okay, cool. All right, now pull this thing out. I'm just going to pull out the 
1 over n in the sum over i. And then this derivative now is on the inside. d d alpha e to the negative here. Okay, and now I'm gonna actually go and take that derivative. Okay, so what happens when I do that? I get uh, one over n, okay? And then I take sum over i. When I take the derivative of that, that uh, what's on the inside there, there's a negative sign that comes down from the exponent and it cancels my negative sign out front. So I actually end up with a positive sign and I have an mij and then there's my e to the m lambda i, m lambda t i. And now I'm supposed to put a minus alpha mij, but I'm gonna, I'm supposed to send this alpha to zero here. So that term actually ends up just getting wiped out. So it ends up being just a plus zero. Okay, cool. So what I ended up with um, is, is that thing. All right, so just to back it all out, so I'm just gonna copy that from what I have up there. I have JT is in argmax. And then it's one over n, sum over i, mij, e to the negative, m lambda t, take the i-th component. Okay, that's it. So this is, this is the calculation I wanted, all right? So this is the steepest direction. Cool, great. So, um, now I have the first step, and then in the next video, I'm gonna talk about doing that line search. Thanks.